Hello, this is Chef John from FoodWishes.com with Roast Smoked Goose. That's right, I got a lot of requests for Christmas goose, which is not the easiest thing in the world to pull off, unlike this, a pre-cooked smoked goose. These are incredibly easy to work with, very, very user-friendly, and if you like a great Christmas ham, you are going to love this. And by the way, you're going to have to check out the blog post for all the details on this product. So this is going to come frozen. You're going to let that thaw in the refrigerator for a day or two until it's completely thawed. You're going to remove the plastic. And then I'm going to make a little bit of a sauce out of the wings. Okay? So I'm going to take that string off. And I'm going to pull that up. And I'm going to sort of break off that wing right in half. We're going to leave the drum part of the wing on. And we're going to take what we call the flat off. So there's really not much meat on that, and it kind of just gets in the way of carving the breast anyway. So we're going to pull that off on both sides, throw that in a saucepan, and proceed to make a very simple red wine balsamic blackberry reduction sauce. All right, so I'm going to throw in a splash of wine, some cold water, one star anise. We're going to bring that up to a simmer on medium-high heat. As soon as it comes up to a simmer, turn your heat to low, and simply let that simmer until the meat starts to fall off the bones. It's gonna take a couple hours, so you can do this step ahead of time. All right, so once it gets to that stage, just turn it off or keep it on very low while you proceed to roast your goose, which could not be easier. Just throw it in a baking dish or roasting pan and put it in a 350 degree oven for about an hour and 15 minutes, depending on size, or until it reaches an internal temperature of 150. All right, so while the goose is roasting, we have some time. We're going to finish this sauce. I'm going to fish out all the bones and that star anise. All right, you can strain it if you want, or you can just use one of these. To that, I'm going to add some balsamic vinegar and a big spoon of blackberry preserves. You can use any berry in this, okay? I'm also going to give it a good dose of freshly ground black pepper. All right, I'm going to stir that in. I'm going to bring it up to a simmer on medium heat, and we're going to reduce that by about approximately three quarters. All right, we're going to get it down kind of low. Now, as it's reducing, you're going to notice a little bit of goose fat comes up to the top. All right, you have a decision to make. If you skim that off, your sauce will be a little lighter and will look better on the plate because you won't see little droplets of goose fat. If you leave it, it will taste better, and it will have a little more of that smokiness. So you're going to have to decide. I skimmed a little bit off. I left, you know, most of it. It really wasn't that much. So once your sauce is reduced down by about three quarters and you have about a quarter of what you started with left, it will look something like that. We're going to turn off the heat and we're going to whisk in a couple tablespoons of cold, unsalted, real butter. If you even think of using margarine for this, we can't be friends. So I cut up the butter in small chunks. I throw in a few at a time. And when the butter is all gone and has been stirred into that sauce, your sauce is done. All right, of course, with any sauce, taste for salt and pepper before you serve this. You know that, right? And that's just going to be so gorgeous over this smoked goose. All right, so we're going to set that aside and just reserve it until needed. And speaking of gorgeous, look at that. Our goose is cooked. I love saying that. All right, it took me about an hour and 15 minutes. Internal temperature, 150-ish. And the only last step you have to do, which by far was my favorite step of this whole video, before you serve it, you're going to want to take some of that melted goose fat from underneath and paint your goose. Look at that amazing shine it gives it. Of course, you're going to present it all old school on a platter with some greens and some little baby seckle pears and some crab apples or whatever you got. Make it look pretty. Imagine that sitting in the middle of your Christmas table. Come on. You bring that thing to the table and you are going to get some oohs and ahs, if not some booyahs and oh my gods, and maybe a couple, holy beep. If you've never been high-fived by your, you know, 80-year-old aunt, this could be the year. And then it was time to serve. I was so excited. I sliced through that crispy skin, that meat, because it is a smoked product, really does look, feel, and kind of taste like ham. But a really magnificent, magnificent ham. Rich, not gamey at all, just really, really nice and delicious. Goose does have a lot of fat, so it's going to be up to you whether you want to serve that or not. I highly recommend it. People can trim that off on their plates if they want. Let me taste a little bit here. Oh, man. That was incredibly delicious. Now, it would be good just like that. Maybe some cranberry sauce on the side. But don't forget, we made a reduction sauce. So I'm going to spoon over our lovely balsamic, black pepper, red wine, whatever we're calling it, butter sauce. And that was just a stunningly delicious bite of food. 
So if you're stuck for what to do for a Christmas roast, consider a whole roast smoked goose so much easier than cooking a raw goose. Of course it's more expensive, but I think it's worth it. So head over to foodwishes.com, check out the blog post. I'll give you all the ingredients and all the extra info there. And as always, enjoy 